Bro, this is fresh, yo. Yo, I'm feeling this shirt. Matsu, you killed it with this shirt, man. I appreciate it as always. Make sure y'all hit up Matsu and Masdudo. He's part of the Toon Squad. I appreciate you, bro, for the gift. Thank you very much, sir. I think it's dope. I'm going to rock this one tomorrow. I'm going to rock this tomorrow for sure. But anyways, let's get back to the haircut tutorial, guys. This is going to be a little bit different. Like this haircut, this haircut, you know, my, my particular client in this video, he always switches it up. He gets creative with his haircuts. He likes to be a little different, a little original. I could appreciate it. I don't know what to call this haircut. It's never really been my style to give a haircut a name. But I'll let you guys decide. Comment below what you thought about the haircut. If you learned anything new, smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content like this, I do this, you know, I do videos like this all the time, multiple times a week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of these tutorials. Like always, guys, I appreciate y'all. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so we're using the Andy's Pro Alloy Clipper. I'm showing you guys how I move my lever, how I move like with no notches. So it's just three times, about a quarter of an inch every time, or a third of an inch every time, and you good money. So the comb I'm using, I'm using a carbon uh, plastic comb. You can get these at, you know, Salon Cedric. Any professional store usually has some carbon plastic combs. They're the best, I'm telling you. Here I got the Andy's T outliners. We're balding him out. You can see I'm going pretty high. You know, this is the style he wants. Literally cutting his hair like five different times. Finally got to this style. Because, you know, I want to keep it lower, the, the blend. But he wanted to keep bringing it up. Almost like a mohawk taper, right? And it's, it's fairly simple. I'm going up a quarter of an inch every time, every time I open the lever. Like, I know it seems like I'm going super high. But the, the blend will come to together if you trust the system. So just opening it up a third of a time, every third inch I should say, that you go up and then you put that number one guard on that comes with the pro alloy clipper and it's open right now. But once we go up about an inch here, right, we're creating our next guideline, we'll close it and bring everything together. As you see here, I just closed it and you'll see how the blend will just come together. And if you have to, you can come back with no guard blade open and just touch it up. But you can see the blend is coming in. That easy, guys. Now we use the number zero guard so we can skip the one and a half guard. That's why I like the speedo, guys, because I can go straight into the, the speedo uh, number zero, which is equivalent to like a two. And, uh, you know, you don't need a one and a half guard in between the one guard and the two. Here I'm doing a little bit of clip over cone. Again, carbon plastic cone. This one I believe is a Vincent cone. Kenny Duncan, the barber, he pushes these like crazy. And it's a good comb. I like it. It grabs it grabs the hair real nice. Only thing is the, the teeth are a little close, but nonetheless, it's a good it's a good comb. After the two guard, literally you could freehand. Um, for the most part, you can freehand. After you freehand, you can touch it over like the two open and really bring it together. And you'll see I do that in a little bit. But like literally, this side shouldn't take you no more than five minutes, man. Like, and even five minutes is kind of like once you master the system, this is quick. I would say probably like. Once you get it down pack, three minutes on each side, and you should have a nice blended taper. Here I'm just doing some detailing, some detail work. That's why I had the, the two, right now it's closed, but I open it up a little bit, and uh, I bring it all together. Alright, so if you go with the grain, it just kind of like smoothens smooth things out. And when I say smoothing, I mean like little stray hairs, especially around the hairline area. You just want to lay that down. You just want to cut that off so that it catches a nice line when you're ready to line up the haircut. And we're going to do, like I sped it up here. Um, we're going to basically do the same steps as you can see. This is just confirming that the system works. I got the Andes Pro Alloy review after using it for more than a month. 
um, I'll drop that review um, this this sometime sometime this weekend. I think it's my first tutorial after the cruise. I dropped one during the cruise. Um, I thought it was a dope tutorial. Not a lot of views right now. Um, I don't even think it hits, it's, it's hit much views. But I thought it was a dope tutorial. So if you missed that tutorial but you caught this one, make sure you go back and check that out. It was like the Pompadour one. You can see I, like, I'm doing the same steps. Freehanding, all that. Touching it up now. Going with the grain now to smoothing it out. Lay it down. And now we're detailing. Boom, taper is done. Now what I'm doing here around the edges, even though he wants to keep it dark, you know, back here he doesn't want to taper it out or anything. Um, you know, we're going with the grain just at the edges, just to lay it down, just to cut it a little bit closer so that when we do line it up, you know, that line pops. Because if it's too long, it's gonna be a lot of hairs and hanging over and stuff. It's just not gonna, it's just not gonna pop. You know, try it for yourself. You understand what I'm saying? And one thing I want you guys to understand, especially if you're new to this channel, you don't learn how to cut hair overnight. Like, I could give you a thousand free lessons and all that. If you don't, if you don't actually practice and put in the reps, like, I don't think barbers give, you, give themselves enough credit. If you're a barber and you're doing this professionally, you're making a living, it took a lot of hours to perfect your craft, right? So it's not like just because you tell somebody a few times, um... Uh, you know how to cut hair the steps that they're gonna be able to create the same quality haircut and barbers if you think that's if you're an aspiring barber and you think that's that's you know the move it's not like you gotta have some patience and actually practice and put in reps and cut a lot of hair to finally get it down packed so I don't want anybody to think that you know this is gonna happen overnight and this is why I I tell you like subscribe to the channel and every video is gonna be a little bit different it's not gonna be like I'm gonna try to touch on every little thing right so so you know if I'm dropping you know three times a week it's not super repetitive but if you subscribe I guarantee you within the course of a year let's say you're cutting hair up but you're doing enough haircuts and you follow through the channel and you watch the, the, the videos you're going to get better you're gonna learn this Yo, it's funny how once you put the line, right, you start to line them up, how the haircut really starts to pop, man. You see how the taper just like really just now starting to stand out. No enhancements, nothing like that. We just, just a fresh cut, man. And his hair ain't easy, ain't easy to cut. I'll tell you that right now. I've been cutting his, his hair for a while, so, you know, now the first time, the first few times, you know, now I understand certain parts of the hair, certain corners, certain angles, certain uh, growth patterns that, um, you know, work for him and what, what's going to enhance his haircut the most without using artificial enhancements, right? So, like, for example, if you're a client and you went to a barber one time and you liked his cut, but he just didn't do it exactly how you want it, you're only giving him one try. Like, let the barber learn your hair before you just, like, move on. You know what I'm saying? So many people just be trying to barber one time, not getting exactly what they wanted, even though the cut was fresh. Like, coach your barber. It's hard to read minds. That's for the clients. So he wanted uh, the, the, the three lines on both sides. The table looks good, man. And no, it's not a regular taper, guys. Like this is, this is how he won his taper, and I think it came out. I think it looks dope, man. Wait till you see the finished product. It's different, you know. It's original. Shout out to, shout out to Denzel, man, for always, for always being himself and, and creating his own style, man. Like this dude definitely ain't, he ain't influenced by nobody but himself. Real cool dude. You can see what I did there. I started going with the grain around where the part is, just laying it down some more, just getting a little bit closer so that the lines popped a little bit better. And he likes his parts to be wide. He doesn't like them too thin. He likes them to like, you know, 
have some separation and really stand out. funny man Denzel I've known this dude for like when I first started cutting hair Denzel knew me when I was actually good at basketball I'm garbage now but <laughs> he knew me what I what I was actually all right and this was like when I got back from college so my bad on that part you know I uh I messed up with the autofocus button this be right here though. This be right here. All right, so we just clean up the lines with the razor. Yo, I'm gonna have to use this beat again. This beat is fire. Like this should. The razor I'm using is the Astros. I've been using those for a while. You guys know the my top three razors are the Astros, the Personas, and the Dorco Primes as of right now. And I, I'm taking a while back here just because it's you want to make sure that the parts are aligned and they're not like one part isn't lower than the other you know what I'm saying here I'm freehanding a, a spot where I thought was a little a little dense This is pretty much like a bald siete, to be honest. See, uh, a siete is very popular in like Colombia or South America, with like soccer players and stuff, football players. Don't mean to offend people. Here yeah, I'm using the shavers just to get a little bit closer. Using the 245 shave gel. This is the 245 razor. It says 245 on both sides of the blade. But I still, I literally still use the prototype. And what I just did there was I freehanded with the razor just to get some of the stray hairs. See what I'm doing right here? I'm just freehanding, cutting some of the stray hairs out. Killing, killing two birds with one stone. Lacing up the goatee with the razor. Man, and when I recorded this cut, man, I did, I did, this was my 24th haircut of the day. I was freaking tired, man. I was beat. Like, 20, like, 24 haircuts like this. Because most of my clients have beards or goatees, like 90% of them. It's crazy. Like, I think one of the tricks, one of the secrets for me to be able to, to stand all day and just cut hair consistently that long is you got to be comfortable. So like my station is super comfortable and I got I got the padded mats and I got insoles in my shoes. Super important. I think, I think at this point me and John were the only ones um, still cutting hair. If you don't know John, the Barber John, he's always on Snapchat. That's his look. That's his platform. He loves Snapchat. So 
sometimes even after you push the raise, you put the razor. There's some there's some little hairs you can touch up with the um, the trimmer. So here I'm I'm using the, the the shears. These are seven inch shears, and you want to hold it right at the point, and not like don't don't put your finger where it could get cut, guys. Like if you put it in the right spot, your finger won't get cut by the cutting blade. But it helps you keep the steel blade more still, and uh, you'll be able to shape the, the the top a lot nicer that way. And you guys can see the cut is really coming together now. Boy, my boy should be sponsored by Adidas right now. <laughs> From this angle, right? If Denzel, if Denzel looks a little um, mad the whole time and serious, because at, at this point, somebody had asked him about Duke, you know, a little bit early before everybody started leaving the shop, and you know, Duke got eliminated. So, you know, big ups to Denzel, super huge Duke fan. <laughs> you can see, yo, the fro, is, the, the fro on the top is coming out butter. Here we'll just clean up a little bit more. That was all shield work, no clipper work on the top. Put a little bit of sheen in there. My boy is spiffy. Fleeky Ziki. Y'all always hear me on the live streams. That's like the <laughs> that's the go-to comment. Yeah, that's fleeky ziki. I love it, yeah. Denzel Dope Cut, man. Appreciate everybody who watched. Thank you, Denzel, for being the model on this haircut. As always, smash that like button. Subscribe. See you guys on the next video. We out.